Well, yeah, Southeast Asia. But anyway, in the bottom left here of all Reno, we have got Cy Storm's Demi Love. And in the top left, the Blue Terran. One game away from moving on to play against Ender. This is Kelzer. I feel like if Kelzer can beat Demi Love here, he'd be feeling pretty good coming up against Ender. Ender is really, really good, but um, Demi Love's definitely a test of his TVZ prowess. Mm. Been seeing a lot of uh, fans from Brazil in the chat, actually. It's not that often that you see all the Brazilians come out of the woodwork. Can you drop a That's... bit of Portuguese for these homeboys? Not really? Uh, no. Didn't want to embarrass yourself? I know no, speak Spanish. Portuguese, man. No habla. No, only Spanish. Yeah, you habla a little bit espanol. We got, a little, we got the, uh, the hatchery going. And it's all quite standard here from Demi, but with an earlier pull because it is all arena. And, uh, I mean, the rush distance on this map is shorter than Steps of War. If you cast your mind back to that horrifyingly small map. <laughs> this is, uh, really? I did not know that. Yeah, it's actually shorter yeah. than Steps, pretty sure. Nice. Um, you take a very, so very tight... games Steps. You take a very tight hallway to go through, which is dangerous for, obviously, like, splash damage units and that sort of thing. But there's not that many splash damage units in the early game, but <laughs> I guess the Reaper is now. But uh, uh, that, that little corridor is a very, very, very short rush distance. And I'm just I'm surprised to see it come through because I wouldn't have thought that uh, Demi would want to play on this map considering Kelazor's Reapers and his dislike of the Reaper. Mm. That said, though, uh, Kelazor is only making one and switching on to the reactor, so he's not actually going to be yeah. that many. I mean, to jump up into the... Oh, I guess the ramp's pretty wide. Never mind. It's, it's not the greatest Reaper map, I guess. Yeah, um, you're right. Yeah, because there's not an abusable... Like, the north of the main actually has a big opening, so, uh, like a like a hole in the ground, so you can't really mess with the uh, with the terrain too much, so you're right. Yeah. It's not that good for Reapers. Demi's going to be, like, mad on edge anyway. <laughs> He's going to be sitting there like, oh, God, please not again, please not again. <laughs> um, but he can breathe a sigh of relief as he's... You know, there's no second or third Reaper coming across the map at the moment. He's getting his two Queens and his Roach Warren wide right away. And a Roach Warren could be worrying for Kelzer. While Demi Love has done it every game, he's been locked in his base um, the previous couple. So, yeah, it could be time for Demi to bring the fight to Kelzer and give him some early game. Um, well, with that Roach Warren, you certainly can. Up. Yeah. It's a good thing about this Let's Rush distance. Zerg ain't need no creep. Where them roaches at, bruh? Uh, he's got the bank. He got the supply. He just needs to go S and R. My favorite move in the game. There yeah, we go. Well, I'm sure it won you many ladder points. It did. Sometimes. I remember Sometimes. Wings of Liberty when S and R meant that your Z, you'd never lose a ZVP. Yeah, like the 12-minute roach max out or whatever. Thanks, Stefano. Yeah. Uh. Thanks, Took the, pal. the 12 I did minute max. Yeah. I, I yeah. was playing Zerg back then, and uh, yeah, S and R was a pretty sick skill to have back then. Mm. All right, well, these units are now out yeah. and heading across the map. A couple of lings clearing the watchtower first, just to make sure that Kelzo doesn't see this too early. Oh. Not that it's really going to matter because it's so close to him he anyway. Needs he needs that Banshee that he's making so badly right now because this bunker and the Banshee are the only thing that's going to be mm. doing anything against these roaches. The, the Hellion's no good. The Reaper is only one. It's no good as well. He's already pulled SCVs. This bunker is so important. Demi Love yeah. knocking well, on front door here. With only six roaches and a Ravager, he's actually not going to be able to break that. Um, the bunker in itself is a fair chunk of DPS. He didn't lose any roaches, thankfully. Um... So yeah, he does have to move back, go take a third base, and uh, back on the defensive. At least with those roaches, those Hellions can't really do anything to him. Um, he can just yeah. park himself near the that little choke thing, and they Smart will not be coming through. Demi knows that the, uh, the Banshee is a possibility here, so the Spore is going to keep him safe against that in the main at least. Oh, there's a bit of engagement here. So the Roach is touching up the Hellions a little bit, but yeah, I mean, Hellions aren't going to do much at all uh, against Demi Love at this point. Unless he can get a good run by into the third, but I mean, you know, most players take that really short path that's, you know, all tight through the middle there, and the roaches, are, with the creep spread getting a little bit further along as it is, the roaches are always going to be there, and it's going to be tough to get a run by of any description. This Banshee's just chilling, by the way. It's, that's an expensive Banshee that he got cloaked for. 
Unless he cancelled Cloak. Oh no, he didn't cancel Cloak, but he was just waiting for a second. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Alright, time to see if we can do some damage over in the Zerg territory. The Spore is already positioned so that he can't really do anything from this right hand side exactly but he's gonna have to come around towards the front he might be able to get a few and yeah, uh, actually, oh, actually and, the other uh, side is quite exposed yeah there's no spore down here which means that the banshees can actually uh, like they're in detection range but they don't care they're killing drones so many drone kills and the queen as well they can burn down this spore they've got nine drones already oh so juicy he's actually just gonna be able to finish that off and yep. demi is suddenly on the ropes a little bit he's gonna up. lose a gas as well Got to give up the main. Yeah. There's no queen in production uh, does either. Does he have any more queens it. making? He has no. He had, didn't have oh, enough minerals gosh. to make a queen. He just made nine drones. Yeah. Well, it's oh, going to get a couple rallying across here as well, and now into the natural. There is a spot there, but there's always a spot. Look at that. He's he's able to reach a couple of drones from back there even. Oh, so many drone kills for killers though. Fifteen, no, in fact, that's an entire mineral. Either. No, he's not. Denying a bit more gas as well, which is really rough for Demi because he's sticking with the Roach Ravager and once again getting those upgrades for it. Um, but he, he won't actually be able to oh. afford that many after the first round. This queen finally rocks up and the Banshee just leaves. Did he get the last Banshee there? So close, nope. but it does live. Ugh, Demi wow. love. 30 supply down or 20 supply down now that he's made a whole bunch of drones. But he's, I mean, he's killed 20 drones, and Demi had to make remake those 20 drones. Um, yeah, so that's right. all worker supply, and what's that? 20 times 50. 400. That's how much minerals he just wasted then. Also, the, yeah, missed, the, the lost mining time from losing workers. That's a mass repair there on that uh, SCV, by the natural <laughs> Interesting. Mm, well... David Love having three base isn't really going to matter at the moment because it hasn't really been mining three base worth. Still really hard to get, get through this choke, but because Demi doesn't have enough of an army, Kelzo does bully his way through and he's stimmed and ready to do some damage on the front lines here. There's not much of an army for Demi Love, but will he be able to use the Corrosive Biles to pull through this one? GG. GG. Kelzo. Taking it with a 3-1 there. Yeah, takes it to the 3-1, and that's uh, that's going to be Kelazor moving on, and Demi Love's run is unfortunately over for Demi Love fans. There is still another TVZ in the works, though. We're going to have Kelazor coming up against Ender as our next match. Yes, 20 times 50 is indeed 400. Well done, myself. Yep. Never, ever, 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 ever do maths live on stream. And so I probably would have said like a thousand or something going like, it was two times five. Oh, Gumiho, Gumiho lost, lost a snoot. Lost a snoot. We just got our update there. That's huge. Oh. Whoa. Well played, one snoot. Less green, Damn. Right, we have uh, Pilly, Pilly and Snoot and Andrew and Kells are coming up. I think, I'm not sure. We had a schedule and I think we were supposed to do both of the losers finals there. I don't know if that still stands or if Tempo will be doing one, but either way, don't worry, those will be casted. It'll be good. It'll be fun. I don't mind if he wants to have his own stream going and, and cast the same games as us, whatever he wants to do. Yeah, sure well, Tempo we're diving into uh, Ender Kelazor next anyway. More TVZ mm -hmm. action. So uh, I guess, guys, stay tuned. We'll be back shortly with yet more juicy TVZ.